Hello, everyone. RPG Kingdom Kid here, back with some more Psychopaths, Mandatory Happiness. In the previous video, we ended the uh, new, uh, pfft, we ended the case. So we caught everyone. We learned that Alpha's the one behind it and all that good stuff. So, yeah. How about we continue then? Um, okay, there we are. The remainder of the case took very little time to wrap up. Hold on, I'm just going to get to my little cheat sheet area. Which is right there. Uh, all the captives were safely secured and all the hostages were rescued without any issues. The, re the leader, Ryota Funako, who had most of the captives and hostages with him, proved to be nothing more than a kid. Without much of a struggle, he was apprehended. I forgot that I was going to put this on auto. Although the captives were still armed with Molotovs and pipe bombs, we understand how they operated, so we were able to defuse this, these situations accordingly. Also, I apologize if you're hearing like any background noise. I have my window open because it's hot as balls here. Just like that, the case was resolved. And I don't have like any uh, air conditioner or central air. I only have like a heater. All the students, hostages, and captives were transported to the National Hospital. There they received mental care assistance and huge checks. Unfortunately, the main criminal Alpha evaded us, and the other perpetrator, Shiori Matsukata, was apprehended, or rather she had no means of escaping. She was fucking dead, pretty much. Eustress deficiency? Only the name. The syndrome is said to occur after, this, after the severe overdose of mental supplements, which leads to the loss of stimulus response activity. Shiori Matsukata is suffering from this. Even for me, it's my first time witnessing this. Nevertheless, all her symptoms match those of the stress deficiency syndrome. But this is not an officially recognized disease, right? It doesn't matter. Her brain has clearly been affected by a medication overdose. Because he knows it was right. And the more we discussed the illness, the more I felt like I had something that needed to be said about it. No, no you don't, but you're going to say it anyway. Eustress deficiency cerebral infraction is an illness that gradually destroys the odd top. You know anything about it? I do not completely remember, but the process takes a long time. Prior to this, there has not been been any reports of severe cases. Spoke without thinking. None of this was from memory, but more like a knowledge that I had pouring out from my lips. Are you saying this syndrome wasn't caused by the medication? These symptoms are so similar to what I've seen before. Patients become numb to stress or any stimuli, so all sensory functions and brain activity declines. Thus, those who suffered from the, this experiment experienced a stabilized hue. After all, removing all pain receptors guarantee it to be clear. And that was when I realized Alpha's plan. I see. This has been his plan all along. It's not to create a riot, but to create many others who are just like Shiori Matsukata. What do you mean? It couldn't be. Yes. Alpha wants to, for lack of better words, reprogram all of humanity so he can give them happiness. That's why he created Heaven's Gate. Just like the ivory gate. But why? It's just this whatever that means. It's like being stuck in limbo. Neither dead nor alive. Can you even call that being happy? 
In the world we live in, he believes happiness can only be obtained by reading people of all their pain and giving them an infinitely clear view. Oh my god, I can't talk. No, no, no. No matter what Miss Droid says, I can't let him win. I'm gonna pull Shiori out of this, no one way or another. Being a living corpse is not happiness. Boy, his thing is really messed up. The bastard said that humans will do anything to achieve their happiness. So if logically re realization is the vision of happiness could in fact just be that. But, but that's a robotic way of thinking. I wonder if he really is an AI like he said. Probably. Then again, he claimed to be human. He showed signs of having deep affection for his mother. But nothing he has said gives us any substantial leads. His loneliness and desperation for his mother's approval was apparent, as was his anger towards us. But still, there's no denying that he was an AI. Doll, Sybil judged him as a non-human entity, right? But perhaps maybe there was another reason why he was deemed so. No matter how much I thought, I could not think of a way. It irritated me like an inch that was finger gripped too far away from my reach. Who, what exactly is he? That shares in happiness, but this alpha guy only tried to make those bad students and Shori Matsu's kind of happy, right? Isn't that why he did that? Seems so, but in the end, they were all in danger and now suffer the consequences. The question still remains why did it have to be her? Her abduction left her in shambles, and so he chose her in order to restore her happiness. Took was his idea for bringing happiness to that poor girl? I don't know about but the sacrifices are mounting. Other than Ryota Fuka, 20 others may have reported showing similar symptoms as Shirori Matsukata. Matsukata. I don't know the gates of heaven turn their world into hell, huh? These poor kids, such fools. Even if they were bound to become a latent criminal, going to such extremes to escape their reality? Man, even I wouldn't do that. I wonder how they are now. It's such a pity they turned out this way, stuck in neutral. We use a medical cyborg, then we may be able to view what these victims are experiencing in real time. It wouldn't make a difference. Their world is nothing but white noise. Yes, that's true. That's true. Since they all are all shells of what they were, their bodies remain while their minds and souls have been transported past the gates of heaven. As the case came to a close, Enforcer Kogami ap approached Enforcer Surugi and started talking. Surugi, you knew that was didn't you? Long time ago, a friend raised an AI that had the same name as him. Sukio, you've been searching for, right? What was her name? Yukari Himikawa. 
Suddenly, after hearing that name, my chest tightened. Out of reflex, I looked down as if I was guilty, even though I had no reason to be. I understand human emotions. Just like Ms. Kugatashi. What do you mean? That was something that was something Yukari worried about. So she made an AI and gave it the ability to process and learn emotional responses. She named him Alpha. Now my heart felt even tighter. As if it would burst, this Yukari woman, who I had never known, posed the same problem and worries that I experienced. Empathy had always evaded my understanding. I never had problems with my heel like others did. I never knew what people felt, what they thought. Hey, doll, you don't look too well. I'm fine. This is rare for me, but I think you can understand what Yukari Himikawa was going through. Just that flashback of something of that nature. Like what happened when we encountered Alpha? Face looked pale as if it does now. Is all this related somehow? Sorry, I don't know. It might have to do with my memory loss, but for some reason I get these flashbacks regarding that AI or Yukari, and after I can emphasize with them. She must have been teased growing up for not being able to understand other people's feelings. The similarity I have with her is giving me a headache. Dang, that's like some hardcore trauma. Kujitaki, you should attend counseling afterwards. If you focus on the job, may affect, may be affected. You should consider taking a leave of absence. You are right. Sorry, I think, I, I think what I said may have triggered some pretty bad memories. Should, should we discuss this later? No, continue, please. If you have any information regarding the case, I want to know it too. And I do not want to waste everyone's time. Everyone's time. Forrester Surugi seemed reluctant, but he nodded and forced a weary smile. Okay, let's continue that. Where were we again? Oh, I want to check my hue. Oh my god, that is way high up there. Hikari Himikawa tried creating an AI who had emotions of its own. So, what were the results of the experiment? Well, all I know was from the time when Yukari had a job in childcare, when he was created Alpha was like a baby and Yukari raised him as such. Well, she wasn't able to understand human emotions, right? Right. That's why she was learning herself. She once told me that I was the model for Alpha, claiming I was rich with emotion. She used me as his role model. Which means Yukari was his mom and you were his dad? Yukari, cut it out. <laughs> oh, maybe. Three of us often talked, to the, talked at the park. Now I think about those were like picnics. <laughs> But, as of now, you do not know where Yukari is? Yukari disappeared. Don't know how or why, but maybe she's still conducting research. Alpha may very well be the same kid I knew, all grown up now. 
あいつがとうとう完成させた我が子かもしれない <laughs> That's nonsense. An AI cap capable of independent actions far from reality. Someone else is controlling Alpha, not Alpha himself. That's the case, then who? Where is that person? We don't have enough information to answer your questions. Before all these cases where Alpha was involved, we need to consider Yukari Himikawa's involvement as well. ヒメカは In that case, thanks for helping me find her, Ginoza. Uh, give it a shot. Thanks. The inspector Ginoza offered to help enforce Zurugi looked as if a way has been lifted off his back. There's no doubt that Yukari must have been very important to him. Just felt like it had been pricked a million times by a sharp tiny needle. Why did I feel this way? Wait. I will also try my best to help locate her. It's a high chance that Yukari would be brought in as a witness. Of course, as an inspector, I would be tasked with interrogating her. That was a given. With his large warm hand on my shoulder and that prickly pain in my chest slowly vanished. Human touch possesses such a great therapeutic effect. Do you know why it worked, but his hand healed me. It's not a particularly bad feeling at all. The school riots, for the time being, that case was closed. The, the recipe for Heaven's Gate <clears throat> was sent to our Tokyo HQ, and supplements usage of every person will be strictly monitored from now on. None of this would be made public. Of course not. Without the public's knowledge, a banned act was put into effect. This often happened in order to protect the well-being of everyone's hues. The disclaimer of the supplements remained the same. However, this, ma the, this message is that supplements should be taken within the recommended dosage in a proper manner. As always, we continue the search for Alpha. However, we are unable to find any leads on his whereabouts. There's always a story behind every single warning and restrictions on things. Shori Matsukata had been placed in the same hospital as our temporary HQ, but after a short stay, she was moved to a special medical facility. Moreover, even the time and day of her transfer was not disclosed to us. We were also denied visitation rights, so we never saw her again, much less knew what, what came to of her. She was the first victim of my first case as an inspector. I would have never guessed things would turn out this way. Forcer Surugi continued muttering his discontent while Enforcer Moscow and Kagari tried to console him. Did not think I'd divulge so much about myself to them. Even then, my chest felt hollow. This powerlessness was like a chasm where only cold and winds rushed in. Only cold winds. Sorrow. I knew this emotion. Maybe I remembered it. But either way, I felt it. Sorrow. Again, I was unable to save the ones who needed it most. There was nothing to do to make it all better. That heavy emptiness that lingered far too long, only to steal a part of you with it when, dis when it decides to leave. Enough for the both of us. Do not think I was talking to myself out loud, but when I came to and forced Surugi stood behind, beside me tapping on my shoulder lightly. So, mm -hmm. 
There was no denying it. Enforcer Sarugi knew, as he had all knew all along, the pain I was going through. He carried that same immense burden, but but just by knowing that it helped relieve mine a bit, how mysterious. The two of us holding up our sorrow and solidarity. Without any leads on Alpha's whereabouts, I received a new order from the top brass. An increased drone, pres drone presence has been established in Saddle Marine City. And the mental health exam was complete. So we, Division 1, were set to return to Tokyo. Do I still... I'm still Dark Raisin. Oh, my lord. I think that's the highest I've ever been. On this, so... There we are. From my wrist count, an alarm sound. It appeared that one of the enforcers he used had reached a dangerous level. To fulfill my duties as an inspector, I had to respond, so I, so I turned on my communications. Some Adam is droid. If it's about to mark departure, I'm all packed and ready. Go, fine, I can go back to Tokyo. I missed my bed. What? My hue became cloudy, so you... Want to check up on me? Uh, that's really kind of you, Miss Droid, but my mental state is very... Good now. Besides, I'm a lame criminal. My heel will become cloudy even without any special. Reason. What? Am I worried about something? No, no, no. Yeah, I know. I'll tell you if something... Happens. Or you could always just pop in my room and talk to me. But really, no worries. After reading this short memo, we hardly had any time to spare. We had needed to start preparing for our return to Tokyo. Whatever the hell is going on here? What do we do about Alpha? There's no way the drunks can stop him. This is an order for Sasuke. It's not something we can discuss. However, I do not think this will that this one here. I'm not sure you back to the on the way to speak soon enough. I was certain because Alpha had not activated his ultimate goal. However, things did not happen as I had predicted. As we returned to Tokyo, Submarine City was quiet. I was almost as if these recurring cases were all just a bad dream. But none of us believed the peace would last. This is like the calm before the storm. Imagine he just disappeared like that. Definitely up to something. And when the time's right, the skies will reign with his terror. What's his next plan? Any bets? You're not taking this seriously. But if something happens there again, will you even be allowed to investigate it? There's no point dwelling on how I've... Hypotheticals. Wouldn't it be better if we mentally prepared ourselves for what's to come? None of this sits well with me. Even if you feel that in your gut, what can possibly be done without any evidence? We should search for Yukari Himikawa, since it is likely she is our best bet at learning more about Alpha. We need to find her by any means necessary.
Sure are strong. That's exactly what we need to do. You know, I can see the trail of our, of our prey. Let me take a bite at it. Right. The order from the top brass doesn't restrict us from stopping our investigation. Even if we were never to return to the city, we have lots of data that can offer leads. On the contrary, I believe we will be back there again. Kumatachi. What and what's your reasoning behind that claim? Shook my head slowly. I knew my gut feeling was an impractical response. But when you know, you know. It's just a woman's intuition. <laughs> so it's us, That's the best kind. I also understand that is a logical thing to say. But that is my only rationale. It's been plain to make fun of you. We follow our intuition all the time. Just like making unconscious decisions based on your experience. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, in other words, even if it cannot be explained, we are saying that you believe in my intuition. Nonsense. Shusataki was as that was your first deployment. You may have suffered too much from the case. You dwell on the past will only cloud your judgment. Okay. Even though I believe what Inspector Genoza had said was true, I had a feeling that I would never be able to fully put those cases behind me. Was it because I was too attached to what had happened, or was it another gut feeling I had? A few days later, traces of Yukari Himikawa were discovered where I thought they would be. Oh, we're still doing good. Yukari is the one who ordered the cyborg? Well then, there's no doubt she's involved in the case. I cannot confirm she's involved in all the cases. After all, the purchase order was revoked. What? Just because the buyer went missing, they canceled the order? Stone Cyborg was ordered from Sixth Tower, but was never used, so it was to donate to South Marine City's National Hospital reason. Reasons for purchase were unknown. I follow up investigation and reveal the records that signify that Kira ordered the cyborg shortly before she quit her job. Why? I wonder. But such an advanced device that it was never made public. So Top Brass probably treated it as a specimen for a project, right? Is there any information about the project? Nah, it's classified. Can't even take a peek. We know here's the buyer, Yukari Himikawa. And we still do not know where she is. So now what? None of this adds up. She sent an email of her resignation and then suddenly disappeared? Why? Perhaps it may be the nature of her work, but what she did is unheard of at Sixth Tower. Surugi, did you know what kind of work she did? I knew it was medical related. She was a genius. Everyone wanted her to work for them. So she was probably doing something important there. Shouldn't miss him without a trace. What kind of double did she get trouble did she get herself into? Come on, let's not jump to conclusions. 
Maybe we should take a step back. None of this sits well with me. None of this is well with me. Why am I not giving him the old man's voice? This is serious. Are you telling me to just give up on Yukari now? Tsurugi, calm down. After all, in the first place, we are not investigating this for your sake alone. That's true. Hey, Gina, what's this? Can we just search through as we please? Fiction Nozo was about to say something then stopped, folding his arms as if deep in thought. He seemed worried about how much we should investigate him, himself in this matter. Should involve himself in this matter. He's been orders from the top brass to halt any investigations. This has already begun. Let's continue. Still, we have no knowledge of Alpha's whereabouts. All we have is the cybernized body that Alpha left behind. Analysis will begin soon. The data is sensitive, so we are taking precautions not to damage anything. Currently, we are preparing the data extraction. If the analysis is complete, we may find some info regarding his whereabouts. That's all we can do as of now. Ms. Kujitaki, what's your thoughts on all of this? Do you think this investigation should be terminated? Second back by this question. For some reason I felt like I was being watched. Not by him or anyone here, but by someone else. I chose my words carefully. I hold the same view as the suspected Genoza. Since there are no orders from the top brass saying otherwise, we should continue the investigation. Why did the buyer's name appear all of a sudden? And it just so happened to be the same woman who Enforcer Tsurugi has been searching for. This realization, this coincidence, may all have been carefully planned by someone, or whoever I felt was watching me. I always feel like... They're like our heads were tied, hands were tied to puppet strings, as if we were being forced to think and act. I know how ridiculous it would was to think that, but I was scared to resist. So ultimately, we should continue investigating Alpha and Yukari Himikawa. In my opinion, that is the best situation. Okay, I think I am going to end the part of here. Yeah, this went on a little longer. We didn't even have any choices yet. Like, what the fuck? Ah, I was expecting some choices, but oh well, that don't matter. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you like the video, please give that like button a click. Comment down below. Check like about the video. Just didn't like about the video. And let me know how you feel about our hue being like that high. Like, oh my god. Like the next choice. <coughs> Excuse me. Next choice that we have is to take a supplement, so, uh, hopefully that pops up soon. I'm sure it's probably going to pop up soon here, too, so, oh, well. So, yeah. And as well as, guys, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to our main channel, too, that's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, RBG Kingdom Kid Twitter, are in there, too. I want to thank you all so much for watching once again. I'll see you all next time.